All right, it's a beautiful March day here in the Maritimes. It's about 48 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Good day to be out. And right here, we have my pit of destruction. I guess for YouTube purposes, I will christen it the, the Maritime Man Pit of Destruction. This is a hole where I smash various electronics and computer parts, uh, mostly dead hard drives. I take that huge rock over there, and I just go at them and smash them until they're unrecognizable hunks of plastic and metal and we have remnants of old things in the hole there still so let's go over there and take a look here's uh, what's left of a western digital caviar 23200 a 3.2 gigabyte hard drive here we have a circuit board with crack chips <clears throat> this looks like this would have come from a uh oh this this might be this might have been from that IBM. I used to have an IBM hard drive, 500 megabyte, that was no good. Uh, well, it was good when I got it, but then it just quit working, and uh, and I just destroyed it. And there's bits and pieces. I think here's another part of that IBM drive. Another piece of circuit board. Here's no, this is for that must be for that drive, Western Digital. Lots of stuff here. I got to be careful because I remember I smashed a uh, a vacuum fluorescent display here that no longer worked. The pins broke off it. Here's part of it right here. That used to be a vacuum fluorescent display. Nice little bits and pieces of integrated circuits and everything. Ugh. Well, I am going to smash something else today. Here in my pocket, indeed they fit in jeans pockets, is a three and a half inch hard drive. This 2.5 gigabyte quantum fireball, uh, this drive used to work, which is why I had it. And then I was using it once, and while I was using it, it just all of a sudden just quit. It just stopped dead cold, and uh, then it just started spinning up and down and up and down, and now it's completely dead. The only signs of life it gives is that when you plug it in, one of the chips heats right up. So, it's dead, so we are going to smash it. So let me set up the camera on a tripod and uh, we'll go at that drive. And of course, you might remember the battery in this camcorder is no good, so this video is being provided by my 300 watt jumper pack. And, as always, safety first. So what I'm gonna do is first, I'm gonna stand the drive up on its end makes for better destruction let me get some crap out of the way yeah just like that now I might zoom in yeah just like that I guess and uh, here's my rock, and we will begin. Oh, I scared the spider out of its hiding place, but uh, no damage to the drive. Let's see if I can. There. Goes the circuit board. Let's see if I can get something hard under it so it don't just push into the ground like that. always smell when you hit something. Uh, let me... Uh, yeah, you can see it's kinda... kinda... dented inwards. Ooh, I don't know where the camera is. There we go. Dented inwards. I'm gonna turn off the image stabilization because I don't think it's working very well. Okay. Ah, 
of this thing's time. This Western Digital here, that took no time. Shredding that to bit. Wow, this thing's tough. Wow, that is solid. Okay, we're going to hit it on the just right on the face like that. Put a nice. Where's the camera? Put a nice dent in it. You might be able to see. Let's see if I can balance it somehow. Uh, and we'll hit it just like that. Uh. Hit it on the underside. circuit pieces. Ooh, the chip itself is intact though. Cool. Oh, there goes the other hard drive. <laughs> This thing is going to take some work. opened a hole inside it. Uh, here's a hole inside it now. And things, I don't think the thing's gonna spin anymore. <laughs> Keep at her. Got some crap flying up at the camera now. Alright. It's the first time I've done a video like this so I gotta keep checking the I just want to make sure the camera is right and everything. <clears throat> Sure, broken on the underside now. Let me zoom out the camera. She is broken now. <laughs> wow, she is split. She's done the splits. Keep at her. We'll hit it on the underside now. Let me, uh, let me try something. Let me pull it. Hmm. What is it? Put a rock on it and then hit that. Wow. Uh. 
Oh, I think she's... <laughs> I think she's coming apart. Oh, they certainly don't spin anymore. I forgot to zoom the camera back in. There we go. All right. Keep at her. Let me stand it up again and hit it like that. Uh. Oh, the platter still turned with enough force. Uh, well, a little bit. They're not flat anymore either. Hit it on this end now. Uh. all loose and rattly now. Oh, there goes the platters. <laughs> uh. This was a two platter drive. Two platters, one, two, three, four heads. Uh. I'm not strong enough to bend it. So, We'll, re we'll let the rock do the rest of it. Ugh. Circuit boards manage to stay in one piece. all the way over here. Oh, we'll bend up the platter some. We'll put the dry. Yeah. Let's see. Get the platters just like that. There's the platters. <laughs> Let's let drive. Let's see if we can... Oh, this piece is broke apart. Honk, honk. There's the head assembly. Still intact. Ah, uh, chewed up the magnets. See if you can see that. Magnets are all broken up. Heads are still on their spindle though. Read error, read error. General failure, reading drive C. Uh. Heads are still moving. Still move. Still moving. 
Let's see if I can. Uh, I want. I want to see if I can bend the thing in half. Well, that certainly did some damage. Certainly moving some dirt. Whew, there's that smell again. It's still moving. It's still moving. I won't consider this thing smashed until either the heads break off or they just don't move anymore or something. I don't know. There is no heads anymore, now it's just three arms. Oh, and they don't move. Cool. I guess I'll just finish the, uh, finish the plate off. And I think we can consider that smashed. Cool. On to the next victim, which we'll leave for another video. So, uh, Hope you enjoyed this, I guess. Thanks for watching.